What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So because I wasn't feeling good the other day, I skipped out on one day of the tobacco free challenge. So today we are going to combine the two together. So it would be day 22 and today is technically day 23. Everything is still going good and as planned as we are coming down to our final seven freaking days of this challenge. Now I did just think of something before we kind of work on the NASCAR, which I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but uh, I remember rooting through my Duramax probably a couple weeks ago, probably a little bit longer than that, when I was doing the NSBU switch, and I noticed there was a can of Canna Dips inside the freaking center console that has been in there since I parked the truck. Now, I parked the truck probably like 13 months ago. So... Don't mind all the shit inside the truck, but let's see here. Oh yeah, she's down there. I don't even. Just to, I'm not gonna do this, but just to kind of show you guys how long stuff has been inside here. Ew. That's supposed to be Copenhagen wintergreen. Looks like dirt. But this Canadips can has been in here for quite a very long time. Yeah, look at that LB7 smoke, baby. This is like an American day, that's why. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test out how well Canadips taste after it's been sitting in a truck in the heat and in the cold for the past 365 days. Now I'm sure this is not going to be tasting probably the best out there. Oh dude, you can feel like it's still smells good. So we're gonna, we're gonna probably double upper decker this and we're gonna see how well this tastes after 365 days now I parked the truck in like April of last year and uh, so it went through all of summer of 2019 all of winter 2019 and right now it's getting kind of warm again so it kind of had like the full extent of being in the sun throughout last summer um you guys did see like the old hinge that i used to have you guys on and record in the duramax actually melted going down the windshield actually i'll show you guys so this is actually pretty wild um but yeah i used to have you guys on the dash hung up here and you can see like it just oozed straight down this is what i actually used to record you guys with but uh yeah it's no longer First initial thoughts though, it hasn't lost its taste. All right. Well, I just fired up the Harley for the first time in a couple freaking days. Still running good. Really, really cannot wait to get my permit. But the real task that we have at hand today is getting this wheel off, which is stuck. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give this a whirl. Okay, so the problem that we have here is the one, I guess you would say, like, lug is, like, spinning. So I need to get it to not spin so we can get this freaking wheel off. and pain in the ass, to be honest with you guys. That's not working. I like, damn it, if I can't figure this out, you guys need to help me out and figure out how I can get this sucker off of here. Because I really don't want to keep playing games with it. I'd much rather just get the damn thing off and continue playing with it. This really sucks. Part of it is my own fault, though. 
Nobody to blame but myself. If only this would grip. A little bit tighter. Fuck. All right, we're gonna get this sucker off here. I don't know how, but we're gonna do it. If there's a will, there's a way. So, personally, I don't give a damn how I get it off. I just want it off. It's a little bit too loose. It's very frustrating. Very, very freaking frustrating. And I, I almost guarantee this is going to spin here. Damn it. Any of you guys got suggestions? <sighs> nope, still spinning. Damn it. Anybody have a suggestion as to how to get this freaking thing off? Because, uh,. I'm just going to get mad and I'm going to break it off or cut it off. Just being completely honest. So I'm cutting my freaking hand and uh, that's going to turn into one hell of a blood blister because I genuinely cannot get this the hell off. But can up pouches are still up. It's probably been about 35 minutes right now. And uh, honestly, even though they sat in a truck through the elements of summer, winter, now almost summer again, I see no change. So, just comes to show you that they don't dry out like the Copenhagen, which you guys saw the freaking Copenhagen that was sitting in the truck. That dried out and looked like dirt. Just want to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, it's this one down here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, it's obviously spinning with the freaking nut. But, I've tried... Literally everything. I took a 15 millimeter wrench and hammered it on over the side. Still not holding it. Uh, not really sure how to get this off at this point without getting too pissed and giving myself more blood blisters. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please drop your comments down below. So I don't know about you guys, but I kind of get angry when stuff doesn't work the way I necessarily want it to. For example, this not going the way that I freaking want it to. So, rather than me getting very mad right now and causing more damage than what I probably should, I think I'm going to do a little bit of research, wait for you guys to comment on this, figure out how to get these damn things off. But, um, yeah, I'd like to get the NASCAR back out, get the body on it so we can actually take it out and have a good time, have a blast with it. But, the Yamaha warrior that is sitting right here beside me um i would like to get that completely redone so since everything's pretty much off of it for the most part i think that we should take it down to frame figure out what color we want to do the frame and uh, then figure out what color we want to do the plastic so i'm going to go with a completely different look we had the whole orange frame and the black plastic flat black plastics for the past let's say year and a half almost two years now i want to do something different so while it's apart I'm um, probably going to pressure wash everything, make sure everything is completely clear uh, before we start doing it. But I want you guys to comment down below what color scheme you guys want to see on the Yammer, 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 Yamaha Warrior color combo. Like I was thinking maybe like, I don't know, incorporating some type of blue. Do you guys want red? Do you guys want yellow? Do you guys like what? Like what do you guys want? What color do you want the frame? What color do you want the freaking plastics? Anyway, guys, like I said, I wanted to kind of combine day 22 and 23 together because I wasn't feeling well the other day. And as much as I would have liked to do separate freaking videos, one video is okay. One video is okay to kind of make it behind. Initially, I wanted to post day 21 in the morning yesterday, but then record last night for day 22, but then still wasn't feeling the greatest. So then I just decided today we're going to combine those two together. But anyway, guys, if this was your first time watching a freaking video on the channel, hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for the warrior. I'm going to try not to smash this thing. Cannot wait to get this thing out on the road. And yo, by the way, we have a Duramax that we have to get fixed. So stay tuned. Those of you here for the Duramax content, that will be coming shortly. It is next on our list.
I'll see you guys in the next one.